Researchers are harvesting seagrass in central Queensland to learn how to grow entire meadows of the plant from a single seed. The crucial habitat for many marine animals also helps protect the Great Barrier Reef. It might not look impressive, but this seagrass plays a vital role in protecting Queensland's coral. People call them the, the kidneys of the Great Barrier Reef. They trap all that fine sediment, stop it going out onto the, onto the, into the coral sea. Over the last decade, these meadows near Gladstone have taken a hit. Researchers say they've seen a 50 to 70 per cent loss of seagrass in the area. We've had a few very um, stormy years with lots of runoff and um, flooding from the land and that creates um, a lot of turbidity in the water which can sort of tra stop the light so the seagrasses die off. Scientists at Central Queensland University are now looking to give the plants a helping hand. They're collecting and studying seagrass seeds, hoping to learn how to grow them. An entire meadow can spring up from a single seed. What we're trying to do is almost build up the information like you get on the back of a seed packet, which says where to grow things, how to grow them. Uh, we're trying to build that information. This is what the researchers are looking for. In each of these little pods, there's about 10 seagrass seeds. With the help of volunteers, thousands of these specimens will be collected and taken back to the lab. The volunteers have learnt a lot. I've lived through the bit where it was very silty from the, uh, the big rain event and the dredging happened all at the same time. And yeah, it was pretty bad for the seagrass then, so it's important that we do stuff about it. Most of the kids have been here before but never realised that their seagrass was here and what it, why, why it's important to the ecosystem. It's hoped the research will help rebuild these meadows to their former glory. Jonathan Hare, ABC News, Central Queensland.